All right, so how do we do a pixel chase? First of all, you're gonna to wanna to set these up in a pixel mode to your liking, whether that's four pixel, eight, or 16. For this demo, I have these both set up into a four pixel mode. If I come over to blackout here, I have these set up both in mode 104, which is a four pixel CCT and HSI mode. I have two patch, or I got four patched in, but two for this uh, demo. So now how do we set up a, a, a just a quick pixel chase? Now, if you come over and you see in blackout, if you don't see your pixels here, you're gonna to wanna to come over and unselect the cells. This is gonna show you, let me clear this. This is gonna show you all your individual pixels. So now I have four pixels for each uh, unit here, the head of the unit, and then four. So if I select the head, it's gonna select everything. Um, and then if I select the second one, it'll select those other four as well. So that's what we wanna uh, work with. So let's record this effect now. I'm gonna select my first and second unit and then I'm gonna come and open up my keyboard. And then if I hit period twice, double tap period, it's, you're gonna see here, it's, it, it puts in automatically cells only. And it's deselected both, head of the, both heads of the units of, of both of the fixtures. So now I've only got my uh, pixels selected, which is what I want. Now before you make the effect, I recommend recording this into a group and you can, um, name it whatever you want, but I'll put like Titan cells only, just so I can quickly reference this later if I need it. So now I got that. Now if I clear this out and I wanted to quickly um, select these, I can come over to my looks or my groups. I hit the cells only, and then I've got my cells there. So now that you've selected the cells that you want, you're gonna want to come over and hit record again. Now we're gonna come over to effect and this is where you record the effect. So name it what you like. I'll just name this Titan Chase. I'll save that. Now that you got that saved, you can come over and double click on your effects. This will open up the effect window. Now if I start playing this, you can see, all right, so I got this on the floor now. You can see that it's chasing all the way through our tubes very nicely. So that's the basics of just doing a, a chase very easily. Now we can change this to what we like and how fast very quickly as well. And if, if you're seeing it's a little green, that's because green or blue, I have the intensity so low that it's not actually getting up to its full power, just so I'm not blinding you guys. If I turn it up all the way, then you can see it's a little, it's a little bit better. So now you got two different um, steps here. So basically what it's doing is it's gonna turn on for a full second, stay there for a second, and then it's going to turn off to the background, which is set to zero for a second and then dwell there for a second off. So now if I just change this to not dwell at all, you'll see it'll speed up quite a lot just from doing those two um, edits. So now it's a little bit quicker. There's not much dwelling time off. It's going through rather quickly. If I wanted to make a, a nice, just quick gradual chase, I like to put the dwell maybe 0.5 and then 0.5 for these. And then we can come over and turn the time to 0.5 as well. Now we've got a faster chase, but it's not quite very smooth like I would like, but it's the speed I want. Now there's a way to do this. I like to mess around with the trail percentage. I like to turn this to percentage instead of um, even or solo, and then put this maybe at uh, 25 or so. So now I've got a pretty decent um, chase going. Now it's not the smoothest I want because we're only using four pixels here out of the 16. So it's kind of stepping in between. If I was on a bigger pixel mode, it'd be a lot smoother. We can go bounce. If we select bounce, it's gonna go back and forth, which could be a cool effect depending on what you wanna do. And we can also just speed up the time here, maybe say one second. And now we're getting a better chase as well faster chase. Now let me show you, I'm just gonna switch this over to 16 pixel mode real quick and show you the difference of how much smoother it can be the more pixels you add. All right, so now what I've done is I've chosen mode 118, which is a 16 pixel mode. Now this does take up a lot of more, a lot more channels. And this takes up about 106, I believe, or 108. So depending on how much room you have on your channel or your universe, um, that's up to you. If you have the room to do 16 pixels for 10 of these, then go for it. But now you can see that there's a lot more smoothness to it with more, the more pixels you add. So let's go ahead and speed this up and smooth it out even more. By coming in, we'll turn the total time here to one second. 
And this gives you a quick baseline for these here. This kind of changes everything at once. And then I'll come in and I'll just put the dwell, which is, let's just turn it off for both of these and we'll see this thing. So now you can see, you're getting quite a different look just from changing the pixels. Now this is a little fast, so I'm gonna put it down to one second. And now we're getting a cool chase. It's a little bit, the DMX is a little fluttering. And again, I can put on bounce mode here. And maybe I'll come in and change this to percentage, uh, maybe like 25%, uh, put it like five. Now we have a different look here. Playing around with the percentage really does, um, you can do quite a bit just by changing the percentage. It would be a cool background effect for something if that's the look you were going for. Now we can also come in and just, you know, quickly change. We can change the colors on these to something maybe a little bit different. Change the saturation, put it to something, some kind of cyan. And there we go, we got a green chase going. So a lot of different options, a lot of different ways to do it. I mean, I could go over a lot of things, but it's really up to you to go through and find what you like and what works for you. What I would suggest is play around with, you can add different um, steps to turn it off and back on, or different colors in the steps, a lot of different ways to do it. And you can also change in here, like you can change the color from in here to have it um, an absolute color or a color temperature change instead. So instead of actually going to the fixture control and changing the color that way, you can have an effect, uh, an effect preloaded with that color and then have it baked in. Um, so it, sometimes it's good to have it like that, sometimes you don't want it like that, so it's up to you. Again, play around with things, see what you like. If you guys liked the video, let me know. Um, I don't always get Titan tubes in, I just happen to have them on a rental, so I was able to do some testing. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next week.